Good morning, everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to join the chairman in welcoming you all to our 2017 full year results announcement. Now, as many of you are aware, I've been away from the office receiving medical treatment since October of last year. I've been very fortunate to have a great team of medical specialists attending to me since I came to London, and as you can see, I'm making pretty good progress. I just entered the final phase of treatment and expect to be back in Nairobi as soon as the doctors feel that my immune system is sufficiently robust to withstand the infection risks that are usually associated with airline travel. Now, it's very difficult to say exactly when that will be, but close monitoring by the medical team will continue here in London for a number of weeks to come. In the meantime, I thank you all for your messages of goodwill, prayers and visits, and I look forward to being back in action in Nairobi soon. That's enough about me for today, so now let's talk about business. Before Joe and Satish take you through the results in detail, I'd like to say that I'm extremely pleased to be presenting to our investors and to stakeholders a good set of results where we finished ahead of the guidance that we gave last year. And to achieve these results, we sharpened our focus on delivering relevant products and services, organizational effectiveness, and putting our customers first, a strategy that was exceptionally well executed, considering the very challenging business climate that the last year presented to us and indeed to many other businesses here in Kenya. We continued our efforts to diversify the business to support revenues generated by voice and SMS. Both M-Pesa and mobile data grew in double digits. Voice and SMS continue to defy global trends to report a blended growth of almost 3% year on year. Sustained investment in our network rollout plan played a key role in our growth, in adding 562 new 4G sites to our network. Last year, we unveiled a new brand promise, Toweza, which simply means that when we come together, great things happen. Now, Toweza puts us on a new journey to unite with Kenyans from all walks of life to build the foundations of a more resilient Kenya. It presented us with a new way of thinking about our business and our relationship with our country. To build a new dream for Kenya and to offer solutions that connect people to people, people to knowledge, and people to opportunities. Toweza inspires us to ensure that in our transformative journey, we leave no one behind. As I've said on many occasions, Safaricom is a purpose-driven organization. And so we stand for more than just numbers. We believe that when we place purpose at the center of our companies, profits will naturally flow. In the last financial year, we supported more than 80,000 community projects and built and strengthened partnerships that continue to transform lives across the country. And through these partnerships, we are bringing positive change to communities. In particular, I'd like to call out initiatives such as MTBA, the mobile health wallet that we launched in partnership with Farm Access and CarePay. MTBA currently has nearly 1 million users and has paid out over 200 million shillings to cover healthcare costs for ordinary Kenyans. There's also Digifarm and Connected Pharma, which are delivering sustainable, innovative solutions in agriculture to our farmers through mobile technology. And by purposing to provide such services to Kenya, we achieve both corporate and social goals, providing a sustainable approach to business. Safaricom is what it is today for many reasons, and a strong management team is one of them. I began my medical treatment knowing that I was leaving behind a strong executive team, and the results that we are sharing here today are testament to what happens when we come together. Since January, I've been working very closely with my executive team, both face-to-face -face here in London and remotely using our virtual private network. In my absence, this is the team that's provided the leadership required to steer our business through a challenging business environment, occasioned by last year's prolonged electioneering period and a tough regulatory environment. I'd like to thank my executive team for their leadership, which has led to the results that we are announcing here today. I'd also like to thank our board chairman, Mr. Nicholas Nyanga, and all of our board members for supporting the team during my absence. I now hand you over to Joe and to Satish for a more detailed account of our results. From me here in London, Kwahiri. I look forward to seeing you all in Nairobi very soon.